What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be taking apart this Shimano SLX MGL 71. Uh, this one is the XG. This reel is uh, pretty sweet, pretty smooth, no problems with it, but uh, I never took this one apart before, so I just wanted to see what's going on. See if there's uh, grease in certain spots, oil in certain spots that there needs to be, and yeah, just your basic reel maintenance. So let's get into it, man. First things first, you're gonna take this little cap screw off. Oops, there we go. Oh man, these have never been broken loose before, so this could be slightly scary. Sometimes the first time you take these things apart, oh yeah, there's some Loctite in there, a little blue Loctite. Sometimes when you first take these things apart, you know, they're, they've never been broken loose. So, you can strip them like really easily, so you just got to be careful. All right, let's see if this one's easy to come off. Nope, gonna need the pick. Gonna need the old guitar pick trick. There she is right there. All right, next up. What do we got here? Uh, you know what, I don't want to mess this nut up. Let's get a little trick here. I got a little plastic bag laying around for a paintbrush when we use it. You can use a plastic bag to kind of protect your nut a little bit so you don't scratch it up. It's probably gonna be a 10 millimeter. Let's see if I can get this thing over there. It's probably gonna be swinging to the right to come off. There it is. It's a good little trick. I got a little plastic bag laying around. All right, this is probably spring-loaded and a half, so I'm just gonna support that a bit. Handle off, let's go handle. All right, so this is kind of like the BFS. There is that little um, washer there that's got the spacer, and then there's gonna be that tiny little pin in there that makes your drag click, so you gotta be careful with that. Like I said, I don't know if you watched the BFS video when I took that apart, but I said sometimes these stick on the handle. There it is. So I'm just gonna slide that off that faces down. So put that over there. I'm gonna slowly pull this thing up. All right, now right there, even though I've never taken this reel apart before, I've seen this design in the BFS, this tiny little pin right there and a spring underneath it that will go flying. So you gotta take this thing off really gentle, really easy and just protect it. You do not wanna lose that. So. We're gonna place that groove side right on the top there and just kinda let it chill over here for a moment. Put my handle on here, actually. Once again, I always like to line everything up in the order I take it off. Helps a lot, you know, it just you just work your way down. Next up is the spring. Then this nut here should be Loosen to the right. There's a lot, of, a lot of oil on this stuff. It's interesting. There's like a, it's almost like a grease. There could be a lot of grease in this thing. Underneath this nut, there is a, another washer. Next up, we got some spring washers, I believe. This is always interesting too to see what order. Damn, there is grease all over these from the factory. That is interesting, man. That is interesting. I'm gonna take them off in the way they came. Are they nested or are they opposite? I think they're opposite. Wow, I'm surprised how much grease around there. That's crazy. Damn, dude, there's grease all over this thing. Just wipe some of that crap off real fast. Look at that, you see that? Just that basic Shimano grease that they like to load stuff up with. All right, next up, I guess I will take this spool out. We'll switch on the back, close, open, open. Door slides off and out. I love when they are attached so you don't lose them over the water. Come on, baby, get that spool out of there. The tape might be in the way a bit. In the door, actually. 
Get out of there, son. Tiny little spool. All right, all good. Place that up here. I'm gonna close this door back up. Actually, let's get a little oil in this bearing down here on the bottom. Now, if you wanted to replace this bearing, there is that little spring clip in there. You would just kind of take a little flathead screwdriver or a toothpick or anything you want and just pry it out slowly, starting at one side. Sorry if there's any shadows, it's it's kind of tough with the attach to it, but you would just pop that out, get to this, get to the bearing. But I'm just gonna drop a little bit of Lucas uh, real oil. I will link it in the description for you as I will everything else that I'm using in this video. So we're just gonna put a drop right into the side of the bearing there. Maybe two, two little drops. Little bearing tester here. I'll link that in the description as well. It's a nice little toolkit for this stuff. I'm just gonna work that around. Okay, let that soak. Let her soak, baby. Close this back up. Let's move on to the side. Tension knob's gonna come off. I don't think there's a spring in this one. I'm just screwing to the left. All right, no spring, just a little bit of a spacer in there. Two spacers, actually. They're so tiny, though, you can't even see them. They're kind of, like, really stuck to the bottom of that. All right, so here's access to the other bearing. Same deal. You can get in there and pry out that little spring clip if you need to replace that or you want to upgrade that or whatever. But we're going to have another shot on it on the other side. So you can either oil it right now if you don't want to take this case off and you're just trying to oil a couple bearings and move on. Um, you can drop a little oil here, so I guess we'll do it. A little oil there. Actually, you know what? That was kind of dumb of me. I apologize. A lot of times, Shimano likes to grease, put grease on their bearings. So I like to try to wipe that off. This didn't really have it, so we're all good. But if you are taking your reel apart for the first time, it may have grease. And... Uh, you don't want that. There's a little bit of a discoloring going on right there, which is making me nervous, but this thing's fairly new reel, so I seriously doubt there's any rust or anything yet. Work that around. All good. All right, let's take this case off, get down to the inner workings here. That should be interesting. Let's start with this outside screw. One may be longer. Let's see what we got here. We got two on the top here, two on the back. All right, so it's kind of like the... BFS. Break loose, baby. There we go. Whew, that makes me nervous. First time you're breaking these loose, man. I was uh, working on the Shimano, I believe, Corrado MGL 150 um, for the first time of mine, and uh, and I, I kind of like strip. Um, I kind of stripped one of the screws because it just would not bust loose. Would not bust loose. Well, that's, this might be a, a long, long screw. Coming out of there? There it is. All right, so this one is top right if you're holding the reel um, face up. And what I like to do always, I put the screws in the same pattern as which I found them. Makes life way easier later. So lay that one off there. See if we can get this one to bust. Just gentle little jerks like that and get you know good pressure in there so you're not stripping the outside. Get a really good lock up on that screwdriver. Coming out. All right, so this one I'll place right in the same pattern here. So we know, a little slightly higher. This mat is awesome, man. I'll link it in the description. I love that it's got the uh, little screw holders. I think it was like less than 20 bucks. That one's easy. Is this an extra long one here? Ooh, that's pretty short. So I'm gonna put that bottom left. So I just remember, it's on the back side of the reel. There you go. These are way easier than those long, those uh, front ones, I tell you. All right, and then this one I'll put down the bottom, and that was the longer one, right there. Right down that slope by here, that was a longer one, you can see. It's much longer than the other ones. 
Gently raise up on that. Okay then. Yeah, pretty similar. Pretty similar. All right, so as I said before, you got another shot. Wow, wow, that's interesting. Check this out. This is very interesting to me. Usually on the underside of this, you get a straight shot to oil your bearing. But for some reason on this one, there is, where are we here on the case? Is that a washer? No, nope, it's just part of the frame. So you can't really do a good job of oiling your bearing on the inside. So you do oil it just from the outside. How about that? That is interesting. That is the anti-reverse one way bearing there. I don't really like having any grease on that. So I'm just going to wipe off any little stuff I see there. And this little part in here should be coming out too. There you go. So there's your one-way bearing. I'm just going to kind of dry that off a little bit. And that pops out real easy if you need to replace that. And then this little piece here, I forget what it's called actually, roller clutch inner tube. So what happens when this reel goes back together, well, I'm just drying it off a bit, get a little, a little crap off it. All right. When this reel goes back together, before you put it back together, this thing is gonna fit right in those little grooves here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little springs off the yoke so they don't go flying. How's that? A little grease. Slide this main gear off. That one came off really easy. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of tip this over a little bit. We'll get a quick look at this. Now under here should be the drag washer. And um, underneath this should be another drag washer and then the old little clutch ratchet here. All right, so we'll just take this all apart. Got that, there's your, your washer there. Looks like carbon fiber, that's cool. Ratchet. Another drag washer underneath, and then that main drag washer. So what I'm gonna do here real fast is I am going to take off their grease because there is a lot of it on there and I do not like a lot of grease on the drag because um, it, can, it can make it slip on you. So I'm just gonna dry off all that grease that it came with. Get everything nice and clean. Now I'm gonna try to remember what side up this ratchet was, but for some reason I don't think it's gonna matter on this reel, but it might. There is a, if you look at it, there's kind of like, you'll get a feel for it in your fingers that there's more of a flat side and there's more of like a rounded side almost. Um, but all these teeth here are even. You know, some of them have like a little sharper point that goes in one direction, so that matters. But I think the way it was just on was this flat side was facing up. So I'm just going to throw that there. Take this little drag washer. It's actually not very little for a drag, a uh, smaller drag washer. Dry off all this crap. And since this stuff is brand new too, man, you might get some like black actual you know, carbon fiber rubbing off this. So when they're brand new, I just like to give them a little bit of a wipe. Make sure there's no black chunks coming off or anything like that. That's all cleaned up a little bit. There's something a little weird going on there from the paper towel, perhaps. There you go. Get that out of here. All right, that one's clean. Let's bust this one out. That one's stuck in there good, boy. That one's stuck in there good. And I apologize for the sirens outside. Hope everybody's all right. Hope everybody's all right. Just drying this one up. All right. Yep, 
definitely some black coming off, you can see. Let me wipe this out too. There's a lot of grease on here. A lot of grease on here. Dry that up, nice and shiny. Take some of this crap out here. Let me even switch over to Q-tip. Just shine it up. I'm, I'm not gonna go crazy and like, you know, use rubbing alcohol or anything nuts. You can, or you can get that real clean stuff. Um, but there's no need for that. This thing's brand new. All right, so you definitely want a little lubrication on your drag. I mean, it's uh, it'll work without any, but they won't last as long, those washers. So I'm gonna use a little cowls. You know, you can use normal grease, like Penreal grease, the Shimano grease, whatever, but I just like to use this because it's kind of, I guess, specially made for the, uh, the drag. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit on our finger here and we're just gonna mush it around the washer. Not an insane amount, but just a good amount. And we're gonna use our fingers and we're just gonna work, squeeze, and just lay it all into that washer and get it to soak in. Nice, clean coating. That's it. Nothing sloppy whatsoever. You like almost don't even want to see the grease that's on there, if that makes sense. So let's fire this thing back in there. Make sure it's pushed down and seated. Same thing for the small one. Just gonna rub a little on. Work it in. Nice and gentle with these. You don't want to bend them. I mean, they're hard to bend, but you don't want to bend them. All right. So these are all good, all good, all good, beautiful. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to just place this on top of that ratchet where it was. Sticky. All right, wipe our fingers off and move on. Sorry if that took a little bit of time, but it takes a little bit of time. Oop, hit the camera, sorry about that. All right. Throw this thing back in. It is got kind of like a curved to it. And you want to put that curved area pointing down so it puts pressure on that. Moving on. So now we're gonna take a little bit of our pen real grease. I will link that in the description as well. And a little bit of a paintbrush here. It's my favorite tool for this job. So this pinion gear comes out, should pull right up with the yoke. The yoke is that pink piece there where the pinion gear sits. And it is a little sloppy in there, a little sloppy. That's your bearing underneath there. I'm just wiping this out a little bit just for a moment. Yeah, not bad. So, if you want to replace that bearing, these tiny little screws right there, I'm sure you can see them, point them out to you, are going to have to come off there and there. But when you pull those off, then this whole, ah, geez, I can't even think, the whole clutch system um, will bust out of there. The spring can fly out, all this will fall off. So those two screws you got to be really careful with once you take them off. But if you need to get to that bearing to replace it, that's what happens. So... Let's, uh, I'm not gonna mess with that, but I am gonna oil it, and you have a shot right through here to oil it, especially with one of these needles. So I'm just gonna go right next to the black, right on the side of that little ring of the bearing. And then I'm just gonna take my little bearing tester, work that oil in. It'll all work in when we start reeling it in later, but I am going to just clean off this pinion gear real fast and just get a look at it. Try to remember what direction this faces up or down. It's kind of interesting. There's like little ramps that sit there. Like here's one ramp there, you can see. And the little piece here with the grease on it, you could tell it faces that ramp. So you wanna make sure that this thing's right side up. It's very hard to tell on the GoPro, I'm sure. 
but this little ramp matches that little ramp on that side. Same on the other side. But let's just clean this off real fast. Get your pinion gear. Just wiping off any of the factory grease or any of the old grease if your, your reel's older. You know, and once you've used a reel for a while and you're doing your reel maintenance, you know, you just want to inspect it, look at the teeth, make sure there's nothing cracked or broken or anything like that. But if you're all good, you're just going to take a little bit of grease here. And you're just going to hit these little teeth. Pop, pop, pop. Try to get some of that right in there. Nothing crazy. Not a, not a wild, crazy amount. Because once we grease that up too, it's all going to work in together and it'll form like a, a big chunk of this stuff behind it. So it all spreads around. So you just, you don't want to go nuts. All right, we're cool. Okay. I'm just going to place this down for a moment. I'm going to wipe off any of the old crap on the yoke just to make it a little cleaner. And I'm going to oil it. Uh, grease it anyway. See, there's like that little bit of crap there. Not anymore. So, one more little speck of crap there. Perfect. Okay, so there's definitely some stuff on there. Looks all good. I guess while you have this all open, um, you know, some people prefer to drop some oil around all in here, stuff like that. Um, you know, I guess either or, you know, you could use a little grease. There already is some from the factory. And I just kind of just give it a tiny little light coating there. Just on all over these little moving parts, stuff like that. But oil does make sense as well. So I guess that's personal preference. I guess more stuff can get trapped in the grease if you're not careful. So maybe oil is a good way to go, but... Usually I just go with the grease, very little. All right, so we're gonna put this pinion back in this yoke, and we're gonna support it and slide her on down. Gotta line up with those two posts there, like that. And make sure that's all the way down and seated nicely. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of grease and just Put it over those little areas that slide, those little ramps. And then I'm gonna just put the tiniest little coating on those posts, just for the springs. All right, next up, you got your worm gear and your main drive down here. And what I like to do is I like to take a little grease and I like to hit right where these two meet. And that way it just works around both of them really easily. Beautiful. Okay, we're all good, man. Next up, we're just gonna get a little bit going on these teeth here, but first we're gonna take this ratchet and start getting it back together. So your pinion gear's in. I didn't put the springs in yet. Don't forget about those. I'll do those in a minute. But first I'm just gonna, I could put them on now, but they have a tendency to shoot off, so. So first things first, is your little ratchet here, and it's keyed, that square, so you wanna make sure that goes locked in all the way down. So let's show you how this works here. So when you push the button down, that moves up there, and then when you go to reel in, that's gotta catch and engage, snap it back. There you go. All right, we're cool. So we're gonna put our drag washer that's got a little bit of the grease on there, the drag grease, gonna slide that down on top of that and really make sure this thing is just seated correctly so it, so it matches up with that. And you know what? I'm gonna tiny, tiny grease that little area too. Just because this thing slides back and forth and uh, I don't want it sloppy, but like I said, oil might do the trick there too. Oops, I didn't wanna hit that. I didn't really get anything on there. All right, we're cool. Next up is the 
big drive gear. That's keyed as well. We're going to get that down so you can see it a little easier. And you want to make sure that seat's all the way down and lines up with those teeth on the pinion. I'm going to put this back on top. Okay. Beautiful. Now we're just going to get a little grease around these teeth. And you can go nuts and you can hit every little spot. But I just kind of like work my way around it and just pat them into the teeth. Sorry, I hit the camera again, didn't I? It's hard to do. Not a lot of room to work. Just hitting those teeth. And you don't want it all along the top here. You just want these teeth. And you could have done this while it was in your hand, but it's kind of easier to just have it on. Because holding it, you're gonna, you just get the grease all over your hands. You don't want too, too, too much, because as this works around, it is going to spread to this pinion gear, and you're going to see a big buildup of it right over here, over time. But you can even take your finger if you want and just massage it in. I think we're all good. All right, I'm just going to dry off my hands really fast. That's okay. Oh man, I can't even, screw it. I'm not gonna dry my hands off. <laughs> We're just gonna put the springs back on here. Right on those little posts. Ooh, you know, these springs are way tighter than the one on the other reel. That's very interesting. All right. All right, we're cool, man. So we're gonna just get our case back on. Jeez, my hands are slippery. Should really wear a glove for this. That might help, especially maybe that hand, just support it. Oh, almost forgot this. Very, very important. Make sure this locks down into those little keyed areas. Slide that down. Make sure it seats, sits all the way down into that key. And now we slide our cover on. Springs are pushing down, I could feel them. Drying my hands off one more time. And just make sure this whole thing just kind of snaps into place nice. For some reason it doesn't want to, which is making me a little nervous. There we go. All right. I mean, if something is, is really fighting you, um, don't, don't force it, man. Like, just, just take your time, figure it out. Something could be out of place, whatever. Just take your time. All right, so we're going to start with the front here, top right, and all my screws are in that right location so I know exactly where they go. And it matters where they go because of that longer one. You really need to make sure you know where that thing's headed. Okay, I'm just going to support the case a little bit so everything's nice and solid. Put that one in. I'm not tightening them all the way yet. Um, I don't know why. That's that's just a habit. I, I always get them in first. And then, like I snug them, but I, I don't completely tighten them yet. Now this long one, when you flip upside down here, that long one was down on the bottom here. Now if you have big hands like me, having those tweezers really helps to uh, seat these things in sometimes. All right, so that one I actually tightened down. This one I'm gonna just double check. Definitely good. And then these top two, I'm just gonna make sure are snug. Nothing crazy though, tight is tight. Don't wanna strip them. All right, sweet. Wipe my hands off a minute. Take a sip of water. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right, so that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, pretty basic stuff in there, not too mad at it. I think it gets a little complicated when you take this drive all the way out and start 
you know, going even deeper into the reel. But this is pretty much as far as you're gonna have to go into the reel for your basic reel maintenance. So next up, we gotta get our handle back on, we gotta get our spool back in, and we gotta get our tension knob back in. So first things first, I think I'm gonna go with the tension knob because it's a little harder to get on once you get that drag star on and everything. So place this on. We already oiled the bearing underneath there. Just snug it up to the right a bit, and then we will, we don't have to, but I'll throw the spool in there. I'll throw the spool in there. That's sit in there like that. Anything in here? You know, you might, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I guess you could just to kind of give it a little bit of love, but just tiny little, little grease in there, maybe just around that spring, something like that, you know, just to keep some crap out. Just a little bit up in there, a little bit of love. Any moving area. Hmm, I wonder if I should put grease in there too. I could though. Just get a tiny, tiny little wipe right there. Just on that little moving part area where that, that slides in and out of. Snug that back up. Close her on up. All right, good stuff. Now let's get this handle back on, boy. Now, we have these spring washers here that were in the correct order. I'm gonna just wipe off the excess grease. It had a lot of grease on there that surprised me. So I'm keeping them in the right order though. And I'm just gonna put these right back on the same way they came off. And these are keyed, so you gotta just kind of shimmy them on and then get them to sit all the way down there. Next up is your little nut here and it had that washer on the bottom loves to stick to that thing so that's helpful i'm just going to screw this on to the left a bit and i don't think you need to tighten this all the way down like crazy with a wrench or anything just snug it up with your fingers and since the spool's in you can kind of press down on the spool and it won't let that shaft turn and then you can just kind of Snug it up a little bit, but nothing crazy. Next up is the spring. And then we got this wild little piece here um, that I showed you earlier. I'm not gonna take this completely apart like I did in the Shimano BFS video, but just to remind you that tiny little spring and pin is in there and it will go flying. And you want that groove side to be facing down with all those little dots there. Cause that's what grabs the pin and makes your drag click. So we're just gonna place that in gently. And then we're gonna gently get this back on while supporting the top here so that doesn't go flying. Just kind of hover your finger over it. Let it slide down a bit. And then we're gonna make sure this is twisted and into the right locked position so that square fits the little area. Everything's pressed down. And now I'm just putting good pressure on that star drag so I can go grab my handle. And then I Get that handle on here. I think it'll go on anytime soon if it wants, thank you. <laughs> and then I just use two fingers to just distribute the weight there and keep some pressure on. Then you got your nut. We're gonna go to the left instead of the right. I'm not gonna tighten this down completely because I feel like this is gonna be like the BFS and the BFS, the drag didn't work at first when I tightened that all the way down. So let's make sure the drag's all good. All right, so drag definitely works. Everything seems to be in working order. Button works, reeling good. Now we can tighten it up. Just so easy before you completely lock that down, just make sure that drag works. Go all the way up with it, test it out. Looking good, go back, reel it in. Just make sure everything's working. Cause it sucks to get it all tight and everything like that and then have to pull it off, so. I've learned that lesson a few times. I'm gonna steal my bag one more time here. Oop, smash the camera again.
steal my little plastic bag and then 10 millimeter hold the handle down make sure this all grips and then we're going to just lock in to the left okay slipped off on me because of the bag but she's tight get her cap on here now this is interesting these things they're you know kind of have that nut pattern on the inside to match over here so if this hole doesn't line up and these little pegs don't fit in the handle right you might have to go a little looser or tighter with this nut to get it to sit in the exact right position for this thing so let's see if we're close and we pretty much are but you can see it's not sitting you see that space it's not sitting in there so probably needs to be a tiny little bit tighter Sorry, nut, but I'm not getting that bag out again. A little bit tighter. I don't want to break it or snap it, but these things are pretty finicky. All right, maybe I'm too tight. Screw hole lines up. This thing's not pushing flat. Might have just over tightened it just a little bit. There you go. See that? Is that wild or what? Just, I had over tightened it just a little bit and this thing let me know. It had that big gap, but now it's sitting in there flush. And so we're all good. Throw our little screw back in. With its little lock tight there. Come on. Kind of keep a little pressure on there. Screw it in, tight is tight, no stripping, and that should be game over, kids. Actually, I lied. I want to put a little oil in one more spot here. A little bit of oil on the right side of the worm. A little bit of oil on the left side of the worm. Worm gear. And then we're just going to work this all in. Spool tension is really loose. You can hear that wobble. So I'm just going to tighten that up a bit. And I kind of say this every time, but to dial in your reel before you're going to cast, you want to listen for this play. And you just want to tighten the tension. until that goes away. So just past it, hear that play? I'm gonna take it away, just slightly. All right, there you go, man. So work in all that oil, all that grease, play around with the reel for five, 10 minutes, just really work it in for a little bit. Thing feels really smooth, dude. That's a damn good free spool right there. Oop, I have no room with this camera here. I'm afraid to hit it. Ah, I have such big hands. There she is. That's pretty money. All right, so that wraps it up. That is basic reel maintenance, a little beyond basic reel maintenance, but taking, uh, taking apart the old Shimano SLX MGL 71. XG, I'm sure it would be the same deal if you got the 70, the right-handed version. You might have to uh, loosen and tighten in the opposite directions on that one. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't worked on one yet, but that wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, they should all be pretty basic. You know, if you have any trouble, you always, uh, a good idea is to take pictures along the way, you know, um, or you're shooting a video, you can, you can rewind it, watch from reverse whatever um, and of course there's always the schematics that are online i'll link the schematic for this reel in the description so you can put it up on your phone your screen and look at it while you work on the reel but yeah not too complicated man you know uh, it's really good to do these things for your reels every once in a while and i do them right out of the box usually because the factory likes to put you know way too much grease on sometimes grease gets on the bearings you never want grease on your bearings you just want oil and you know, speaking of oil and grease, I will link all the stuff that I use, the star drag grease, the pen grease, the Lucas reel oil, 
Uh, this little tool kit, the mat, everything you see here, I'll, I'll try to link it in the description. So if you're starting to work on reels and you need some tools and, and good stuff, you know where to find it. That wraps it up, dude. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know in the comments. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. This thing's sick. Badass little real boy. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.